to travel now though and if you've been scrimping and saving for that dream Hawaiian holiday well we may be able to get you there a little bit sooner. A trip for two staying six nights at the Lalo in the heart of Waikiki is up for grabs. Just go to the cafe website to enter. Do it right now. Actually I'll do it in a minute after Debbie's talked about Hawaii. Debbie's already been out there to check it all out for us with travel expert Anne Miller Mello from House of Travel and she joins me now. Good morning. Good morning. Well most Kiwis when they go to Hawaii they aim for Oahu but for a change of pace Maui is a great idea. It's called the Valley Isle. Absolutely beautiful. It's the second biggest of the Hawaiian islands. So it's best known for its beautiful beaches, the stunning Io Valley, migrating whales that you can actually see from the shoreline if you're very lucky oh, wow. and watching the sun rise or sunset from Haleakala as well. Maui was actually voted the number one favourite of the US islands by Condé Nast Traveller readers for 20 years. It's Ooh. a good one. Anne and I had a brilliant time there. Take a look. Today we're on the gorgeous Hawaiian island of Maui, but we're not going in the water. What are we doing today, Anne? Well, we're starting here and we're ending up way up here in the hills. In your heart, we're <laughs> off. Wait for me. All right, let's go. This relaxed tropical paradise is easy to navigate. Stop for a family friendly zip line at the stunning Maui Tropical Plantation before heading to the North Shore, famous for its great waves at Ho'okipa Beach. It's the surfers who revitalise nearby Paea, once a booming sugar plantation town, now a colourful boho village, home to fellow Kiwi Tim. Aloha, kia ora. <laughs> Further up country, the cowboy town of Makawao. We're here for a local delicacy. Hi, can I get this cream puffs, please? Betty is the granddaughter of Takizo Komoda, a Japanese migrant who opened the store in 1916. Cut by hand, put every donut on a stick by hand. So it's made with right. love. It's made with love They're from the Komoda family. <laughs> That's amazing. Will it change soon? Do you think you'll get machines to do no. it? No. No. Keep it going like that. Keep it going like that. Up onto the slopes of the volcano Haleakala to the Ali'i Kula lavender farm, which is more than just flowers. We call it a lavender lifestyle. Yeah, so you can use it in every element of your life. You can have it in the kitchen and in the bathroom and cleaning and, and you know, in your aromatherapy routine. So you just incorporate lavender into your lifestyle and it will help improve the quality of your life. <laughs> Wander or take a tour amongst 20 different varieties of lavender. Local businesses collaborate to make products sold at the store. Even the lavender scones, jam and lavender coffee. <laughs> I'll give it a go. We stay on the mountain to tour Ocean Organic Vodka. The only vodka in the world distilled from organic sugarcane grown on site. It's really refreshing. Mm -hmm. It's actually juicier than I thought it was going to be. Much juicier. Mm. And blended with deep ocean mineral water. What I think is interesting about the water, or I think what you might discover about the water, is that it's very clean, it's very fresh. Yeah. It is. Yeah. And uh, it's like not even there. It's yeah. not even there. And it does have a, it does have a, uh, there's a softness or a silkiness to the quality of the water. There it is. Mm, there is. It's beautiful. Yeah. Back to the beautiful Royal Lahaina, the original resort on Kanapali Beach. Enjoy a cocktail at the beachside bar or head up to your luxurious west-facing room in the 12-storey Lahaina Kai Tower to watch the sun set over Lanai Island. After dark, head into Lahaina. It's Maui Friday, a regular night market with Hawaiian crafts, clothes and food. Check out the iconic banyan tree. Uh, it's about 150 years old and it's the largest uh, banyan tree in the United States. You keep saying it's singular. It's this singular. One tree. Yeah, so the if you look over there and it's a little dark, it's night time, but uh, right over there is the main trunk. And what happens is it just sprouts off and then they come up from below and drop down from above uh, to you know, continually make the tree even bigger and stronger. And when you wander along the stores on Front Street, you never know who you might bump into. Uh, the galleries here, and then right next door we have uh, Fleetwoods on Front Street, where this is Mick's, Mick Fleetwoods restaurant. Um, and he brings in some really great entertainment. Um, a lot of times Mick's up there playing himself on the rooftop. Uh, Steven Tyler, 
uh, or some of his other uh, bands he'll be up there uh, playing with. So it's pretty exciting to have that. That's a pretty good claim to find. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and and it, even better, I actually live right behind here. So, uh, you know, if I want a celebrity stock, I can just stand out there and try to, you know, get my New York City on again. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Wow, that looks amazing. And that's quite a different looking island, isn't it? Quite lush and green compared to last week's, which was more like volcanic and dark. Yeah, spot on. In fact, we found every one of the islands we went to, they had unique landscapes and activities, making each holiday on each island completely different. But look, it was so easy to get around. Hawaiian Airlines makes it super easy to bounce from island to island. Our flight times were 20 minutes to half an hour. It was really easy. They have state-of-the-art aircraft, really super friendly uh, crew, cabin crew, authentic Hawaiian hospitality, that aloha spirit really shines through, it's wonderful. And so you need to go to Hawaii Tourism's New Zealand website for ideas, inspiration, and also fly Hawaiian Airlines, of course, because your holiday starts straight away. So they have the best deals for getting there, uh, hawaiianairlines.co.nz, flying five times a week from Auckland over to six Hawaiian islands and then beyond to 12 cities in the US, Seattle, San Fran and LA are among them as well. Oh, wow, that is a great inspiration for that winter travel destination. Thank you so much, Debbie. Thank you. Who wants to go to Hawaii? <laughs>